Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use the four digits of your uh, student ID number. These comments are for 4678. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at Stealth, the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and I just listened to your pronunciation post-test. Now, you're also one of my students over here at California State University, San Bernardino, and uh, thank you for completing this post-test. Two things I want to do now. Number one, I want to give you an idea of your score, uh, of how easy or difficult it is for other people to understand what you're saying, and also uh, recommend some lessons I think you can focus on to get better. Now, one of the things I noticed uh, when you're doing the reading passages and when you're speaking generally, you're not really varying your tone that much. So it becomes a little bit distracting to understand what you're saying without varying that tone. So I'll, I'll tell you more about lessons that can help you in that area in just a minute. Now also, I'm a little bit concerned when you're answering those three questions, you gave very little or no details to support any of the generalizations that you were using. So then I'm, I have to kind of conclude here that you have a very limited vocabulary and also you're using very basic grammar. So I also noticed that. So you want to work on using a combination, I think, of basic and advanced vocabulary and grammar and not just the basic uh, areas. So because of some pronunciation problems and also because of your limited grammar and vocabulary usage, or at least the advanced type vocabulary and grammar usage, uh, I'm going to put you in the two range. Uh, I'm going to put you at about uh, 2.8 out of 7. And that means that it's going to be very difficult, I think, for a native speaker to understand what you're saying because you don't really have an adequate vocabulary and you're limited in your grammar and you also want to work more uh, on your pronunciation. So that's my comments. Now you can click on the link to learn more about your intelligibility score. Now the next question is what do you do? How do you get better? So uh, I do have some specific suggestions I think that can help you. So uh, in, the, in the vocabulary part of my course uh, I think that you can benefit by going through my vocabulary lesson number three, also vocabulary lesson number four, number five, and number six. Going through those specific vocabulary lessons will help you to expand your vocabulary usage and it will be much easier for you to express your own ideas, I think, later on. So that's really, really important for you right now, is to improve your vocabulary. Now, also, you can also benefit, I think, by going to my grammar section of my course and uh, study grammar lesson number one, grammar lesson number two, and those two are relatively easy, and there are some practice exercises that you should complete after those lessons, and that's definitely uh, going to help prepare you, I think, for your overall uh, speaking fluency. Uh, also, go to grammar lesson number seven and focus on the grammar exercises. I think that would also be beneficial for you. Now, when you go through grammar lesson seven, there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of exercises there, but it'll take you a few weeks, a few hours a week, I think, to go through all of them. But I think you can really, really improve in your grammar proficiency by going through my grammar lesson number seven. Now, with pronunciation, uh, there are some things I think you can do to get better. Uh, take a look at my lessons uh, beginning with uh, sentence rhythm, lesson number 33, 34 and 35. Now as I said you also have a lot of problems with your intonation. So you want to study my lessons 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40 and I think you can also improve in your thought groups and blending so then take a look at uh, Speak Clearly lesson number 41, 42, 43 and 44. So all of these lessons you can find them in the second section of my course the pronunciation section of my course. Alrighty. Anyway, so thank you for completing uh, this particular uh, uh, post-test. Now, for the purposes of our class, let's figure out your grade.
Okay, for the purposes of our class, remember I gave you 2.8 out of 7 on this uh, particular uh, post test. So for our class, 2.8, this is going to put you at a 74%. This will be the grade that I will enter uh, into your in-grade. 